Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we are going to be going over some of the things that I didn't necessarily like, or things that I think need to be, you know what, they need another look at from 343 to see if they fit what Halo Infinite is, and of course, this was just a flight, it was the first one that we got to, and I believe Sketch or somebody on Twitter said that they had already looked at changing a lot of the things that the community was giving feedback about in the first place, so I am... Fingers crossed right now that a lot of these things aren't going to be real issues and we can't actually tell if they were bugs or if that's how they were intended to work, if they were just placeholders going forward. But um, there are things that I do like and I do plan on making a second video with the things that I enjoyed about Halo Infinite. And um, to be honest, there's a lot, a lot of things that I like about the game. It feels great to play. Um, but there were just a few things throughout the flight that were kind of off-putting to me so what i want you guys to do is let me know in the comments down below some of the things that you want to give feedback on that you didn't necessarily enjoy and as always keep an open mind i always do when i go and have discussions with people i'm very much not a narrow-minded individual i like to see the other side of things from other people other you know points of discussion that they might have um i think is very valuable so without further ado let's hop into it Playing against bots, uh, I feel like it was, you know, balls to the wall, you know, just running straight forward, not real tactical or anything like that. But when you played against real people, and this could be because that everybody was, you know, trying super hard, trying to get good scores and stuff so they can post it to Twitter. But it felt like it was way slower paced against actual players. And this may be because of the radar. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the functionality right now of the radar i think that with how sprint works and how you don't show up on the radar unless you use sprint i think that a lot of people realize that sprinting is barely faster than normal running or normal walking i guess i feel like the radar is kind of a carryover from halo 5 where it was more of an ability radar but we don't have a ton of abilities and stuff, and you only show up when you sprint and shoot. And I guess use equipment in Halo Infinite, and I just feel like, personally, I think I would rather the Halo 3-esque radar to come back, where if you crouch, you aren't on the uh, radar, but if you're just, like, moving around and stuff, then you do show up. I don't know. I, I, I can't tell if it was because everybody was just trying really hard to, to do well or what it was, but it, it didn't feel good functionality-wise. Another big issue I had is the ability to double melee or just the melee lunge slash range regardless. I definitely think it could be less. The lunge fell super far and sometimes I wouldn't even be looking at somebody and I was able to get a melee off on them. And I noticed it more when I played actual people. They would just shoot me, you know, with their AR holding forward and then just melee me from like 10 feet away. And it almost felt like destiny and I did not enjoy that. Another issue that I and I, I saw a couple of other people bring it up on Twitter and things like that where the player outlines weren't, you know, very clear. There were times when it didn't seem to show up at all. And I've mistaken enemies for teammates and teammates for enemies a few times uh, just because the outline was so subtle. Or again, it didn't show up at all. And also I feel like if I ran up on a player who already had their bubble, you know, their shield popped, it was not clear at all that they did not have a shield. It, it was like the exact same that it looks when somebody has full shields to somebody who doesn't have any shield. So I would like to see something change on that, but I'm pretty sure that one of the devs said that they are already working on implementing a change for that. So two thumbs up. In regards to the map, I feel like there was a lot of useless space and area around the map without, you know, reasons to go there seems like there was like a area where you would spawn and then you would run to get to like the middle of the map or whatever and it just didn't feel very symmetric i guess i'm not sure it just felt like there was a lot of unused areas and there was always this one single point of contention whereas in other halo games i feel like you can kind of go around and fight battles one-on-one -on -one and stuff but with this one it didn't really feel that way i also understand that they were testing out like random spawn placement stuff so maybe that had something to do with it also one of my biggest complaints is if i was playing with a friend or you know even my teammates i would love to have an indicator showing you know who it is i i feel like that's that's got to be in the final product maybe it just wasn't in the flight 
The metal size and design, I understand what they're trying to do with the metal rarity, and I'm not sure I agree with the placement and the, the actual size of the metals, but I think that they need to figure out how to make it more unique. I would like to see the size of the metals to be a little bit bigger. It's very hard to tell if you got, you know, a overkill or a kill tech or whatever because the metals were the same. You had to like look at the metal and then count the stars inside of it, I guess. I didn't really like that. I like the customization of Spartans, but one thing that kind of really stood out to me was you can't make the Spartan look very female. That's always been an easy thing in Halo. Like the female Spartans look like females. And no, I'm not saying that I think they should have, you know, really unproportional feminine attributes, I guess. But it's just that kind of stood out to me. I kind of thought that was a little weird. There's also no collision or friendly fire, at least in social and in other games. I actually hate it. But for some reason, it just feels like it's wrong to not have it in Halo. So I hope that we see that kind of return, at least in Ranked. I know a lot of people have been saying, please bring it back for Ranked, but uh, I kind of miss it in Social. Another thing that I didn't like that might just be a part of this flight was that the Season Pass, Battle Pass thing only progresses when you complete challenges and doesn't, you know, you don't get any experience towards it for completing matches. And I don't think that that's a good idea. I think that matches feel almost empty if you don't progress any challenges. It's like, why would... You know, it, it forces you to play a way that you might not normally play in the first place or game mode. So I think that rewarding players for their time spent at least just playing the game needs to be something that is incorporated into the battle pass. I hope that 343 kind of looks at that and decides that, yeah, that's that's a way to go. It doesn't have to be like the full amount of XP for completing a challenge. Like if it was like one fourth of whatever, you know, say it's 25 experience where if you complete a challenge, it's 100 experience. So. I think that that would be fine. I would like to see them look at that. So that's going to do it for this video. If you agree with any of the points, let me know in the comments down below. If you disagree, also let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you want more Halo content, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one where we talk about things that I liked in Halo Infinite. Bye.